How Singapore is Using Technology to Solve Its Water Shortage Singapore uses about 430 million gallons of water every day, a number it expects could double in the next four decades. That kind of consumption is piling pressure on the Asian city-state to address growing concerns about global water scarcity. So it's building new technology to prepare itself for a future where obtaining clean water will be even more difficult. Singapore truly has become a global water hub, said Shane Snyder, executive director of the Nanyang Environment and Water Research Institute at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University. Singapore truly has become a global water hub. Rapid urbanization and rising global temperatures are making access to natural water sources increasingly hard to come by. Today, a quarter of the world lives in areas of high water stress. Experts say we're consuming natural resources faster than the Earth can replenish them. Singapore, meanwhile, is home to more than 5 million people and is covered in fountains, reservoirs and other water features, including the world's tallest indoor waterfall, a 130-foot rain vortex that pumps 10,000 gallons of water per minute. But it has no natural water sources of its own, instead relying heavily on recycled water and imports from its neighbors. Snyder's research facility is one of several places developing solutions for Singapore's water dependency. The hope is to create projects that could be used across the city. What we have become used to as reliable water, may quickly change, so we have to be prepared, we have to be thinking about the infrastructure in advance, Snyder said. What we have become used to as reliable water, may quickly change, so we have to be prepared, we have to be thinking about the infrastructure in advance. One development, a small, black sponge called carbon fiber aerogel that the university says can clean waste water on a mass scale. The sponge absorbs 190 times its weight in waste, contaminants and microplastics. The material is being further developed for commercial use by Singapore-based startup EcoWorth Technology. CEO Andre Stoltz said the company will first enter Singapore's wastewater market before eventually developing this material for use on a global scale. We believe its potential impact is very big, Stoltz said, adding that the product allows the company we believe its potential impact is very big. Another company, Waitrome, is already taking innovation from Singapore to the rest of the region. Founded in 2014, Waitrome says it has developed a lightweight, portable filtration device that they say has already provided clean drinking water to more than 75,000 people across Southeast Asia. Waitrome CEO David Pong said one of the most innovative aspects of the product is its simplicity. We're going with a no-frills approach because we're looking at water as a basic problem and a basic commodity. And as a result, we need basic technology to solve this problem, Pong said. We're going with a no-frills approach because we're looking at water as a basic problem and a basic commodity, and as a result, we need basic technology to solve this problem. The water filtration device is no bigger than a bicycle pump, yet it can provide clean water to villages of 100 people for up to two years, according to the company. We've been very blessed to have access to clean drinking water, Pong said. We've been very blessed to have access to clean drinking water, 